Miracle is trying to call Kara, but there is no answer. She's alone in her room after confrontation with her mother. Things have become more tense than they had been in the past. Something Miracle did not think was possible. Miracle feels like her life is spiraling out of her control. And she needs someone to talk to. But Kara is not picking. Until now, she has not been desperate enough to do what she's about to do. But she has no other option. Hello? Yes. Who is this? Kim? This is Miracle. I don't know if you remember me. Miracle? Oh, of course. I remember you. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good. You? I'm all right. Um, is Kara around? Is she near her phone? Hmm. Yeah. She's in her room, so she should be near her phone. Let me go check. Stay online. Okay. Kara? Hmm? Miracle has been calling your phone. I think she wants to talk to you. I know. I don't want. Kara, stop being a diva and just talk to her. Who can be Sagala? Kali? Mm, yeah, I think she doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, I heard. Sorry, but what's up? Is everything okay? You can tell me. No, it's okay. But are you fine? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, Kim. Okay, bye. Bye. Feeling stuck, Miracle once again returns to see Nadia, her therapist. So tell me, what's been going on with you? How are you feeling? I don't know. I feel better and worse at the same time. Um, please elaborate. Things with Mark have been going better than we had thought they would be. The worst case scenario we talked about in the session before I told him didn't happen. We are friends again, and it's nice. I missed being his friend. I'm glad to hear that. Remember how scared you were to tell him? And now see. I'm proud of you for doing it. I know it wasn't easy. Thank you. And I feel like a weight has been lifted off. Now that I have accepted that I am a lesbian, I feel light. I'm no longer running from myself. And it's nice. Hmm. Look at the progress. You can even say the word now. I'm happy for you. Yeah, but I hadn't planned to tell anyone else. And that's okay. You need to come out to the whole world. The most important person you need to come out to is yourself. Yeah, that was the plan, but I ended up telling Mark. Oh, how did he take it? Actually, fine. At first, I thought I had made a mistake to tell him but I'm glad I did it the problem is my mom actually not just my mom but both my parents now know did he tell them no I, I don't think so he wouldn't do that he promised me but my mom hasn't been able to accept that I am not going to marry Mark and so she confronted me she thinks that Kara has manipulated me into being a lesbian and she told my dad <laughs> Recruited is the word she keeps saying. Yeah, that's very common. It's not the first time I've heard of that. And now she's not talking to me and my dad is looking at me like I'm a disappointment. I have no one else to talk to. I tried to call Kara and she didn't respond. That must have been difficult, you know? Miracle. I know this may be hard for you to accept, but maybe you need to let Kara go. But she was the only person I could really be open with and show my true self. I don't know if I'll find someone like that again. I know it feels like that in this moment, but you are very young and there is still so much time ahead of you. There will be other people. Yeah, but I want Kara. I don't want other people. I feel so alone. I wish I could have just been straight, Nadia. All this wouldn't be happening. I have no one. I can't even pray. Why do you feel that you can pray? I haven't been able to pray in a long time. 
I feel like God hates me. Do you really think that's true? I know what the Bible says. Our pastor says God hates gays. From our meetings, I know that your faith is important to you. I can understand why you feel alienated from the church. The church isn't God. It's just an institution. Doesn't the Bible say that God doesn't make mistakes? You can have your own relationship with God. Do you really believe a loving God would cast away a child they met in their image? I don't know. Okay. I have something that may help you. Would you be interested in meeting other queer people? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> there is this organization called Farog that I've worked with before. They have an event coming up this weekend. They call it Social Fridays. It's a safe space for queer women to come together and socialize. You may meet some new people who understand what you're going through. Oh, but I become quiet around new people. I don't know if I'll make any friends. Actually, sometimes they even hold non-denominational prayers. Everyone can go, whether Muslim or Christian or whatever. And you can get to worship in a community without feeling judged or unworthy. Wow, that sounds interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. I think it would help. Here are the details. You can go if you'd like, but there's no pressure. <laughs> go whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. I'm Miracle. Until the next time. When the day arrived, Miracle debated with herself whether or not to go. She was anxious about stepping into space where she knew no one there. In the end, her loneliness worn out. She left the house. But now, Miracle finds herself standing outside the gates and her courage is failing her. She can hear the music inside and people talking, but she can't bring herself to enter. She's considering to go back home. Hi. Are you entering? Um... You're here for Social Fridays, right? Yeah. Come on, you go. Okay. Miracle falls this random girl's lead into the gates that she had been afraid to enter. She's still nervous, but somehow she feels a little more confident entering someone else. I've never seen you here. Is this your first time? Yes. I've never come here before. Oh. I can show you around. Introduce you to people. My name is Dee. You? A miracle. That's a pretty name. It's nice to meet you. Are you with someone here? Or are you alone? I'm alone. I don't know anyone here. You must be nervous. Is that why you are just standing outside? You can bear on me. Okay. Thanks. Now that she's in, Yuriko finally has a chance to truly look at people inside. And she is amazed by the wide variety of women inside. Women with colored hair, masculine women, feminine women, women who are somewhere in between. There are women with piercings. Miracle's mind almost goes into short circuit. Is everyone here a lesbian? No. Not really. Some of them are bisexuals, some are pansexuals, some don't like labels, so they just go by queer. There are also some non-binary people here. Wow. Yuriko begins to feel something, but she doesn't know what she is feeling. All she knows is that her muscles are relaxing. 
All the tension that she did not even know she was carrying is disappearing. She feels completely at peace in a way that she never felt before in her life. All the people around her look so beautiful and welcoming. Me? Introduce us to your friend. Yeah. Introduce us. People relax. Mama, this is Dossi, Enzo, Shanice, Mulunji, everyone. This is Miracle. Hi. Hi, Miracle. Miracle, can you remember all our names? Yeah, uh, Shanice, Mulunji, and Angel. Yes! Wow! You're better than Angel. She took three social Fridays to learn out our names. She has probably already forgotten your name. Don't listen to them. I remember your name. What a miracle. I love your eyes. They remind me of someone's eyes. I've seen them somewhere before. They're so beautiful. They look like... Thames eyes? Oh my... Oh my god. Yes. Yes, exactly. She has Thames eyes. Oh, thank you. You guys are so nice. Marco, are you shy? Don't be shy. Oh, no. I'm, I'm just nervous. Don't be nervous. Come and be with us. I'll protect you personally. I'll go in the way to go. As Miracle gets welcomed into the new group of people, across the compound, two people stand frozen in shock. Karen Kim, what Miracle like they can't believe their eyes. What did you do? <laughs> what do you mean? Did you invite her here to just mess with me? Ah, I, don't, I didn't know she was going to be here. I'm equally shocked. Gawe, Olimba, I know you have a number and you told her to come here so you could force us to talk. <laughs> but why would I lie? What do I gain from lying? So if you didn't invite her, how come she's here? Bro, I also don't know. The way you are confused is the same way I'm confused. But now that she's here, you should go talk to her. I know you want to talk to her, but you're just being stubborn. Okay, fine. But not now. Let me first think of what to say. Kawa. Meanwhile, Miracle is slowly settling into this new group of people she has met. She's getting more comfortable, and she has started to loosen up. They have convinced her to talk about what led her to attend this social Friday. So, then my mom tells my dad, your daughter has decided to go and be one of those homosexuals. Decided? Oh, the street people are funny. So, for us, we just decided to be gay. Maybe some of them are also just deciding to be straight. Yo, oh my god, that's so true. You know what my auntie told me when I was outed? We know Shanice, everyone has those good feelings, but you just have to fight them. Ah! Wait, yeah. I do not know how to tell her the news that not everyone has those good feelings. Yeah, I just left her like that. She's not ready for that information. I just said, okay, aunt, I'm afraid of your feelings. So, did you tell your dad you must have denied? Mm, no, I didn't. Eh? Miracle, why didn't you deny? I don't know. I denied everything. I denied myself. I denied all of you. Up to now, they still think I'm straight. So, what happened? Did they chase you from home? No. But my mom is not talking to me. Things are very tense right now. That's part of why I came today. I couldn't stay in that house. Oh. Oh. Eh, do you lucky? Hmm? I know they would chase me. You know, I'm so careful. Yeah, you're really lucky. I wish I had your parents. Mine chased me immediately. Yeah, Miracle. If they haven't chased you, then there is hope. Yeah, just give them time. For me, at first, it was also very tense. But now, time has passed and they have slowly accepted it. No, we don't really talk about it. They stopped asking me about boys, when I'm getting married. They didn't stop everyone else but me. They just keep quiet. Hey, mama. Me? They are on my neck to get married. Any 
any time. I'm going to take for them a gay boy whose family is also disturbing him. And be married so that they leave us alone. Ella, when you people see me, don't be shocked. Across the room, Kara watches Miracle talk to the group and her anxiety builds. Questions start to fill her mind. Just go and talk to her. I can't. Ah, do I have to do everything for you? Kim marches across the compound to where Miracle is standing and taps on her shoulder. Oh my God, Kim, hi. Hi, Miracle. I'm surprised to see you here. Yeah, my therapist told me about this place. She's called Nadia. Oh my God, that's my therapist. I love her. Is Kara also around? Yeah, she is. Do you want to talk to her? Yeah, but she doesn't want to talk to me. No, it's okay. She wants to talk to you. Are you sure? I'm sure. Jangu. Okay, guys, let me come back. Kim, you're still a miracle. Just like God. <laughs> As Miracle approaches, Kara can see how much she has changed since they last saw each other up close. It's in her eyes, the way she walks. It's in how she looks slimmer than she did before. Okay, you too. We'll get it. Hi. Hey. How have you been? I've been surviving. What about you? I don't know. I called you. I know. I needed you, Kara, and you abandoned me. Why didn't you answer? You know why. I saw you together on Sunday. He looks nice. Congratulations. Kara, I'm not marrying him. The wedding is off. What? How come? I wasn't in love with him. Oh. So, how come you're here? Are you with Dee? Did you come with her? Oh, no. Um, I just met her at the gate. I came alone. I've missed you, Kara. i missed you too. I know I hurt you. I shouldn't have said those things. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's, it's not okay. I'm sorry for playing with your emotions. Meeting you showed me things about myself that I have tried to bury and I wasn't prepared to see them on the surface like that. I felt truly alive when I was around you and I thought I could just dip my toe and run back to my normal life like nothing ever happened. I'm sorry about that. I was willing to treat you as collateral damage just to get what I wanted and throw away once I was done. You didn't deserve that. Can you forgive me? I know you hate me, but maybe we can start over? I don't hate you, Miracle. I can never hate you. All my mind could think about has been you. I go to sleep and I dream about Miracle. Sometimes when I gig, I'd smell your perfume and it would drive me crazy just thinking that you were nearby. I forgave you a long time ago. I was just scared of the pain, you know? I was scared to watch you live your life with someone else. I understand that and you were right. If you had let me, I would have played around with your heart. Wow. But I'm a different person now. Losing you forced me to really look at myself. Do you remember what you told me about tearing down the old you and building yourself up again? No, I don't remember saying anything like that. I'd just be talking. Okay, maybe those were not your exact words, but you said something like that. Well, I did it. I experienced it and now the me I'm building feels more like myself than I have ever felt in my entire life. I can tell. You look different. Even in your eyes. I'm still figuring so much shit out and I feel like everything is so bumpy right now. But I like where my life is going. And for the first time, I feel genuinely in charge of my own future. Although my mom is completely not talking to me. Why? Because you're not marrying Mark? <laughs> not just that. She confronted me about you. And she was saying how you've recruited me with money. And I told her that she needed to accept that she gave birth to a queer child. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Miracle, what? You say that to your mom? Yeah. Miracle, you're crazy. So is that why you're here? Do you need somewhere to stay? Did they chase you? No, they haven't chased me. At least not yet. But if they chase me, can I come stay with you? Yes, yes, of course. 
but it will be hard going from your mansion to our tiny apartment. As long as you're in the tiny apartment, I'll be fine. Okay. So I have an important question for you. But your questions? Now what? Okay, ask. <sighs> Kara Mutengo, will you be my girlfriend? Oh my God, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Yes, I will, of course. Yes. Hey, oh, yes. Miracle pulls Kara into a kiss right there in front of everyone. It's the most exhilarating feeling she has ever experienced. All the questions and longing from the past weeks pour out in that one kiss. Do you miss me? Do you dream about me? Do you think of me before you sleep? Am I your waking thought? And the answer to each question is yes, yes, yes. There is much pain in the world, but in that moment, the world around them disappears and the only two of them water.